products in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add your door access card to your iPhone so you can use NFC to open doors. Whether you want a more convenient way to unlock your office or you've been issued a digital access card and need it on your phone, this simple step-by-step -step guide will walk you through what to do and what not to do so everything stays safe and authorized. First, open the Shortcuts app on your iPhone and go to the Automations tab. Make sure you're signed into the same Apple ID on the device you plan to use. Once you're in Automations, tap the plus to create a new automation and choose the NFC trigger. This is where you'll register the physical card you're allowed to use. Next, tap the option to scan an NFC tag and follow the on-screen prompt to read the tag from your card. When the phone recognizes the tag, give the tag a name so it's easy to find later. After that, add the action you want the shortcut to perform, for example, running a HomeKit scene, opening an authorized app, or sending a predefined command to a supported access system. Save the automation and test it while your card and phone are both present. To make the process smoother, make sure your iPhone is updated, Shortcuts is allowed to run automations, and you have permission from your building or system administrator to use a digital key. Not all access cards are compatible with user-level NFC copying, and many systems intentionally prevent cloning for security reasons. Once you've completed these steps, try your new setup at the door. If it doesn't work, contact your building's access control team, they can issue an official digital credential or enable supported phone-based access. It's also a good idea to keep a backup physical card and confirm any security or privacy rules before converting a card to a phone shortcut. So remember that copying or cloning access credentials without explicit authorization can violate policies or laws when in doubt, use the official channel. By following these authorized steps and checks, you'll be able to set up an NFC-based shortcut to open doors where permitted, keep your system secure, and know how to troubleshoot if something goes wrong. And that's all there is to it. By following these safe and authorized steps, you'll be able to use NFC on your iPhone to open doors when permitted. If this helped, like, share, and drop a comment if you need troubleshooting tips.